I got the answer very quick from Benjamin Sadaka. I have waiting for him to answer me since uh, September 2021. And now is it is it um, Is it May? Um, May 21, 2022. So I have been waiting for six months for his answer. Uh, and I asked him if he could help me to get in contact with, with the man that was interested to marry uh, a single man that was was interested to marry me uh, because I told him that my DNA showing me showing that I am I have my DNA into that tribe uh, that Israeli uh, Samarian tribe in Hol Holon where he lived and uh, and uh, I wrote up uh, wrote up what what he answered me about it and he wrote uh, I asked him if he had find someone for me to uh, that want to marry me I say it doesn't it, he doesn't need to be in my age and uh, and the answer from Benjamin Sedaka was uh, exactly I wrote down uh, what he wrote me back I hope that Shema they uh, they say uh, God uh, the name of God is Shema for those Israeli Samarian. Uh, and uh, he wrote, I hope that Shema will fulfill your needs. And uh, that I expected it to be like that because they don't see uh, women. Uh, uh, as holy people, they don't see uh, women as uh, God's creation. Uh, God's creation, maybe, but on a lower plan than a man, and uh, that they believe that God only talk to those higher priests in uh, in the tribe. And uh, that that is almost impossible uh, to to could do anything in that tribe, and that's why uh, they they are uh, on their way to die out. There is no they they try to to. Uh, and be more people in the, that tribe but that the way they do it is to take uh, women from Ukraine uh, and marry them and uh, and be get uh, children so they be more people in that tribe but that is not the right thing to do because with the uh, Ukraine women, they marry to could come out from Ukraine. This is not when Putin was doing things to them. It was when Ukraine was had the control over their country, and uh, but they have always been uh, those uh, Russian and Ukraine. I'm I'm sorry to say that, but uh, uh, 
it's not everyone, but it's very common that, that they love money. And they uh, are thinking they can go away from uh, the situation they are in that they don't have any money uh, and they go for the money and they are not uh, not uh, into the religion or they, it's not a religion it's tradition that they have in, uh, in the Israel Samarian uh, tribe the, and the uh, it's a little complicated uh, uh, tradition they have because it's a mix of Islamic and Christianity uh, and Jewish, uh, but they follow the Jewish mo most of it. And uh, by taking in women that is not uh, they don't know if they are from the tribe that is uh, is their uh, DNA that they only take in those women for to to have children with them and I am not of interest for them because I can't give them children but I have told um, told the Benjamin Sedaka that I have two children that is not married and my daughter have started to be open to could marry uh, in Israel and um, so, but they thinking that those men in their tribe is going to have sex with these women and and get children and I I wrote back to him that it's not about be pregnant and give you children this is about what Shema want me to do and it's not in my needs is about Shema, Shema's will. But uh, of course he don't understand that. He think uh, that uh, women don't have God with them. They are only breathing, uh, a breathing thing. And uh, take care of their home and give them food. And then have sex with them to have children and uh, and women are not nothing to to have f when it's come to development of it to know know what God will and God who is God and uh, be closer to God that is not of interest they are as worldly as all the other is worldly. They are not in, in anything about Shema, God. They, they, they are what they are saying. They are traditional. They, they are not a religion. It's tradition. That was Benjamin Sedakas told me to not say religion. He said that we are we are tradition. He said so. I learned that the Jewish people don't want want to uh, that we are saying religion. That uh, Jewish people is also into the tradition, and that uh, means. Tradition means to look back, to hold what, uh, hold the old thinking and acting. Uh, even if, uh, even if they move forward in life, 
in generation from generation they hold uh, their uh, their tradition from from a zero when they didn't know anything about cars go uh, going to, on the moon or or go, going uh, flying up to Jupiter and other planets and and they only hold this uh, old very old things that ha happen uh, until the Torah was uh, done written down and uh, I uh, I am going to look f uh, if there is um, a year say when the Torah when it's the end of the Torah but maybe it's the end uh, like the Old Testament and that was for um, it was long before uh, Jesus was born so it, uh, it's going back to 2,500 2, years back and then more back uh, and uh, nothing have happened since then or that is what they think uh, the man that nothing have is have happened since 2,000 years ago that we it's I don't know how to say it that uh, you I think you understand when you're thinking about it that there their thinking and belief is that God is dead God is not talking to us today God is talking in in those books that they are reading and they count the letters and they put together some pieces of of what what uh, written for thousand, many thousand years ago and um, they don't believe that God is talking there was only prophets in that time when those uh, books was written and uh, inside the Torah it was only prophets in Abraham prophet and this uh, old for long time ago so uh, they can never understand uh, that God is talking today and so that's a waste religions to sit and listen to and read those books and hear those um, preachers and other people uh, standing in the pulpit and tell you something about the old things when, so, when very much happen today from God and um, I don't know if if God will be very angry at Benjamin Sedaka now and if that the case that something happened that is negative for Benjamin Sedaka because of that answer he gave me that it's my wants. I, I wrote to him that uh, why should I be sitting sit in Sweden and then go to Israel and then go and find you and go to you drive to your home and sit and talk to you in two days and uh, uh, 
when I have already been twice in Israel and I'm not the person that I wrote that to him that I'm not the person that is going to the same place twice when there is so much other places beautiful places to go to around the world why should I go to the same same spot the whole time it's many people that do it but I am not that kind of person I want to see new things I want to learn more than what I have learned already uh, and uh, that is one of the the clue why God choose, uh, chosen me because I am open I, I want to know more I, I am I want to see more I want to hear more I want to know more I'm very curious of everything I am not uh, uh, I have not come to the end of to, to get more knowledge I will never stop be curious and want to see and hear things so why should I go like uh, people is travel to Spain for example the same place laying on the beach and get the tan and go into nightclubs and drinking alcohol and be drunk and do it every year that's not me at all and, and that's maybe it was one of the reasons I think there is many reasons but one reason that I am curious I want to know more and um, and if the, it's happened something with uh, Benjamin that uh, God be very angry at him is it not God that do it because Benjamin do it on himself when he do these things to me I come to him into his home and told him that God did send me and uh, you know it's uh, the same thing that uh, was uh, the king the pharaoh in um, in Egypt when they, they come and talk to uh, Moses and Aaron came to to Egypt and talk to the pharaoh and the pharaoh didn't listen at them and then God come and and uh, did things to force him to let the people go and uh, uh, it's a very similar to what happened in Israel as I told you in a other episode that that uh, Benjamin Sedaka that I told him that he I God told me that he was from Egypt and he was and that fit in into this uh, about to be stubborn and uh, I don't think that he even think about uh, why why I did come to his home he asked me why I come to his home and I answer him that God wanted me to to go, go to your home to meet you the, it's not me the God wanted me to and he asked me how did you find me I said God show me where you find uh, and uh, he only laughed he, he didn't want it to understand and the, that those things that hurt very much 
I didn't have the money to go to Israel uh, that time when I go to Benjamin. Uh, and um, uh, and I say to God, how can I go to Israel? Because I don't have that money to could. It's uh, it's not so much money to from here to go to uh, fly to Israel, but to stay at the hotel is so very expensive in Israel. Uh, so. I say to God, how can I I travel to Israel? I don't have any money. I say to, it's not that I didn't want to go, that I didn't obey God, but I wanted to, to show God uh, um, he may be... Uh, I, I suppose he understood it, but it was like uh, I needed to say that to him, that I don't have any, th- those money. And uh, then only a few hours from when I say that to God, I had a, a, f- a mental sick friend on Facebook. And I said that uh, he had asked me about very much about God. And uh, I said that to him that I heard God talking to me tonight. And he said that I should travel to Israel. and But I don't have the money for that. And then this mental sick man, he, he said that he... He could uh, send me uh, much money, and uh, and uh, for uh, he wanted me to could uh, may create videos if from Israel and uh, like in the same like he is uh, he was walking around there in Israel but it was me that make the live broadcasting to him uh, on my staying in Israel and so it was not that I took advantage of his uh, mental illness because he wanted me to to uh, send him live broadcasting from Israel like private broadcasting to him and then he wanted me to buy some Israel things for him in Israel to take take it to Sweden and uh, so I got this money and that was enough for me to could stay at a hotel a normal hotel, not the cheapest, a real uh, good hotel. And then I could drive, uh, take a taxi to Benjamin to visit him. So uh, God really made me understand it was in his will that I should uh, come to Israel or else I have not got that money but uh, in that way uh, God when God want me to do something for him he give me that money if I don't have the money I get it in like a supernatural way and that was one of at that time I got the money um, and um, so I, uh, what uh, next step now it have been uh, the same thing the whole time that men doesn't listen at me and in that way don't they don't listen at God because I talking from God 
you know it, you that have listened at me, that God is coming and talking sometimes. And those uh, words from God, they, they miss it because they are proud and think that man is over women and God never talked to women. And in that proud and, I say, one must say, silly way of doing this thinking from man that uh, make it, uh, it can be the man that do this, that our planet will be doomed, will that this planet will be back to darkness and be avoided. Uh, it can be men uh, because of their proud. But in, in the same time, I'm thinking about the hand of God, that uh, why doesn't women take, take this and uh, make... Uh, men to understand that that in God's eyes we are equal there, there is in the spirit world there is no gender there is not man or woman it's a spirit and uh, that uh, in uh, God, in God's creation he created us as equal man and woman we are equal and uh, it's when talking about the man is the head of of his woman that is inside the home the private home it have nothing with the church to do it have with the order inside your home that uh, now you say uh, uh, it's not fair, but I, I am talking about a situation where the man should be the head of the household. That's when you can't make a decision about uh, worldly things. Uh, that's when the man have to have this last word and the decision will be created on what he is saying if you have two different uh, thinking of of the of same thing but of course you need to talk to each other and discuss it uh, first but then uh, someone have to have to be the one that win if you have two different view of things then it's the man that have to do it and uh, and that's what it, it says that uh, over the man is the church and that is uh, the church is outside the household between a man and a woman is the man that is uh, have the last word in the household not in the church because uh, god was saying that to adam and eve that they should work together they should not it was not their priority to make literally children to have sex and, and uh, have get uh, many children like there is in in many religions that they think that they need to do many many children and the poor women have to to be go pregnant and give birth to many many kids and take care of the kids uh, when they start to grow up and in the family 
and when she had to clean the house, make the food and take care of 10, 15 children in the household. And that's not what God wanted to make to, to women. God uh, loved women and he was not making women to be like a a breathing machine that was not what God was talking to Adam and he was to create spirit children that there was lots of children as um, the uh, our planet was was dark and a void and there was no spirit on this planet before God's spirit was flying around uh, over the planet and then the, he start to come light on the in this plan, um, planet but was already ready people here but they have no spirit they were not good it was to eat or be eaten uh, in their mind and uh, so what God was telling Adam and Eve was to create spirit children for him of these people that was on this planet already that have no spirit in, inside them and that's what God wanted Adam and Eve to to do and uh, we we are talking different uh, women and men uh, can think different and talk different so sometimes it's a good that a woman talk to a woman and a man talk to a man that's why god created a man and a woman not for to have children of their own literally children children in their bodies was it was it not and uh, it was to create spirit children for god of those people that was already here on earth before adam and eve was created um, and, and uh, about Benjamin Sedaka again, that um, it's not uh, asking what will God do now when when Benjamin Sedaka doesn't want to help me. Uh, but it have been many people that I, many men, not women, men I have going to and talk to them that God have sent me and they have not helped me so that is not the answer I need to have because I know the answer the answer is to test people to do the test for God uh, only to go there when God wants to test a, a man he tell me to go Go to that man and he make make me uh, could come to the, those people and that uh, I look at it after that how could I do it it's impossible to meet these people but I could meet it because God it was in God's will so God opened the door if there is, as this is a, as a spirit uh, want uh, to tell you this that if if you do things in God's will, there is no obstacles. He will make make you have open doors to what He wants you to do. And. You that find it very hard, you say you, uh, you, you're working for God and uh, 
and in 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 the reality in what god knows that you work for your own wants your own agenda and then you have this problem with closed doors because that was not in god's will but i was chosen by god to test people and so it doesn't matter that benjamin sedaka doesn't want to help me it's a, it was a test that i did because god wanted to see his reaction on it so god had uh, uh, tell me to go to people that like key key man a man that had the the key to those closed doors that could help the whole planet because god want to want to talk to them through me and uh, i know uh, i sit here with a in a recording for the podcast and uh, i know this is only a small thing when those when one man that uh, opened the door to many source uh, many doors that can be opened all over the world then God will, God is coming down and God is coming and I see a picture of many men in in the room and God is sitting there and talk to them he, God is not going to talk through me that is only the start of it this is only the start of it that I sit uh, and talk in a podcast because I know already that one that day when a man that is in a position that he could like uh, mask for example uh, he with a Tesla car or his with a shuttle to other planets. If he should be interested in me, then I know God is coming down with everyone in heaven. And they go in to sit and talk. But that, that key to get heaven to come down, it's through me. That if they accept me, then we will see a different planet th- uh, that heaven will come down t- to us for real so everyone can see what uh, the, uh, everyone can see heaven coming down but uh, the, uh, that is the most frustrating for me because I know uh, the answer of everything in the end but but when uh, those men never accept me then uh, I don't see it like my life is waste because I have test I have done the test on people for God and that was why I was born to be here on earth to test so uh, it doesn't matter what it will be in the in my uh, what i see myself because i already know myself that i i do this test on on those men uh, that could have changed everything for our planet by accepting me so it's both uh, we we will see what's uh, will coming in the future 
I don't know so much about the future, but I have some visions that like this vision that that if uh, a man accept me uh, then everything is coming to be uh, in the uh, the end of evil things on this planet death is no more on this planet so uh, that's the goal for it to, to be accepted so God can show up everywhere to that God can show up all over the world so everyone can see him so thank you I hope uh, I don't sound upset uh, if you if you hear like I am upset I am not upset I am very sad about that uh, no one wants to accept and I don't know how how patient God is on on this uh, for this planet and but uh, the vision I have uh, of how it can happen is that we go back to uh, how it started but in that in that time there is no light coming down because God's God's spirit doesn't hover over our planet uh, this time we have only one chance now and it's now today and now thank you God loves you you know that so act on what you understand and hear and see things act on it in small or big things only act act in in love act in humbleness act to care for someone act to heal someone that that have been wounded that have been hurt